What's up? Welcome back, YouTube. Today we're answering the web's most asked internet questions. Not to me, but to someone much famous and more sought after. The vlog king, Casey Neistat. Apparently he's the best vlogger in the world and his stories are so amazing and his vlogs are so great. He's the golden era of YouTube, of vlogging. And I guess everybody since then is just a carbon copy ripoff. I, I never even heard of the guy until a few months ago, so... My head is in the sand. I don't really give a shit about YouTube. And obviously, based upon my analytics and my subscribers and my views, it doesn't give a shit about me either. So, we are answering Casey Neistat's most asked internet questions. And we're applying them to me. Because <laughs> I'm sick and tired of filming something for you every day that you still don't watch. <laughs> So we're not filming anything, even though it's a beautiful day out there. I might go for a bike ride. I might win the lottery. I might do this awesome thing I'm not telling you about because, you know, I gotta save something for me. But today, the questions in order are, what made Casey Neistat famous? What made me famous? I would say probably working on The Flash. I got to work on The Flash TV show. I'm not famous, by the way. <laughs> we're not making a claim that he is famous. But if you had to say, what's your 15 minutes, which was 15 fucking milliseconds, <laughs> it was working on a TV show um, for The Flash, where I got to play a character, a recurring character for four years. I played a bad guy with a snake eye who became a good guy on the, a bad guy on a good guy's team, a good bad guy, a bad, a good bad guy, a bad good guy. Yeah, that's it. So I became a guy with the snake eye who got to not fight against the Flash anymore, but join his cohort of cartoon superheroes to fight the villains. Uh, what did Casey Neistat do before YouTube? I worked on the Flash. Before, what did I do before I did YouTube? I was a filmmaker. I was an actor. I was a writer. I made movies. I was... Uh, I also was a bartender before that, and uh, a mascot. <laughs> too many times, too many times. <laughs> um, a go-go dancer, too many times. What camera do you use? I use my cell phone. It looks just like this one, but it's that one. What can I say? What sunglasses does you wear? I wear these ones with hearts on them because I found them and they were free and they were from, I think, a little girl's. <laughs> and I thought that they had a nice a nice aura about them. So I, I wear heart-shaped sunglasses. What app did I create? I made a bunch of apps. One was an AI dating app that was meant to be like, uh, make people see through people so they would control people. So you wouldn't actually be an AI. There'd be control hosts and there'd be avatars. And so you'd sign up as an actor to be an avatar. And then the host would sit at home watching you and controlling you by saying, for $5, tell the person beside you they're cute. For 20 tokens, um, ask them to go for coffee. For, and you'd, you'd control people by um, in live time through their phones with the headpieces. How does Casey Neistat fly drones in NYC? Ah, uh, how do I fly drones in, in my city? I throw my phone in the air like this and I record. So it's like, whoa, look at that drone shot. It's so good. <laughs> Let's get it right now. Let's record it and see how it looks. I'll, I'll insert it you can see. And here comes the drone shot. Oh, oh, that's when the drone crashes. And so we're the recording, we go, whoa. Okay, here you are. Okay, we'll try again. This is it, I got you on camera, and then ready for the drone shot, whoa! Recording, and then whoa! That's it, cut, print. So we're recording, and then whoa! That's it. Uh, how much does do I sleep? I sleep as much as I need to, six hours is optimal, eight is great. How did I meet my partner? Oh, well, it's a great story, my partner's the best. I hit on her for like a couple of years at the store she worked at and she turned me down every time. And I went in there with my book of rhymes and said, oh, here's a bunch of stories I wrote. You might find them cute. Not cute. I went in there at Christmas time with a Christmas card I made with me on the front and gave her a Christmas card 
that was pretty weird. And then she went traveling and I never saw her again. And my mom said, whatever happened to the girl at the store? I said, mom, the girl at the store doesn't care about me. She's off traveling the world. A few years later, I was walking past and I was throwing a party and I saw her working at a different store. And I walked in and said, hey, what's up? You remember me? She's like, should I? I was like, ah, uh, I gave you those stories and that Christmas card. Anyhow, whatever. I'm having a party tonight. Don't come. You're invited, but don't come if you come if you want to. I don't care. And then she came to the party and left with some of my friends after. <laughs> and then, and then I started to get to ask her out again and she fell for it. What a sucker. <laughs> She's the best. How does Casey Nassett make money? Well, he's a famous YouTuber. And if you're asking that about me, uh, I don't. I don't make money. I live on the kindness of strangers. I'm Blanche Dubois and the streetcar named Desire. I pander to YouTube hoping to get subscribers, hoping someday the videos I made the other day will later get views and later get monetized and later make me money. So this is all an investment. I'm investing in you. So YouTube should invest in me. That's the sad truth. Where is Casey Neistat from? I am from the middle of Canada. I am from uh, Winnipeg. Where's my ancestry from? Oh, we're from Africa. Where does Casey Neistat go to school? I went to Ryerson in Toronto for filmmaking and UBC in Vancouver for acting. Where does Casey Neistat run? I run to the fridge and I run very little now because I have a knee injury and a heart problem. So running is hard. I used to love to run and now I sadly can't do as much as I'd like to. Where do I do Kung Fu? In Chinatown. Also heart problem, knee issues, which makes it difficult. But I'm still deadly. So meet me in a dark alley and you'll learn. Where's my film studio? You're looking at it, baby, right here in the phone. It's all in my hand. It's a flying studio. It's a studio in the air. It's studio in the air. We can do anything we want. We can airdrop it. The studio can fly, first class, coach, whatever. We can do it all because the studio is in my hand. So I have a green screen in the bedroom. I have uh, <laughs> apps on my phone. Fancy, fancy stuff. Like, I don't even have a computer. That's my studio. I've not owned a computer in at least five years, yet I've written countless books, thousands of poems, hundreds of stories, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of videos, thousands of videos, to be honest, in the years I had, and yet I've still in half a decade not owned a computer. And in my entire life, I've only had a computer for eight years. So that's why I'm probably computer illiterate and not at all successful online. It's just saying the truth. This video is taking too long. I gotta, now I gotta edit this video. That's annoying! Do I edit my own videos? Yes! All I do is edit. It seems like all I do is edit videos. Is film for an hour, edit for eight. It's awful. All I do is edit tiny screens. Tick, 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 tick. Will YouTube like this? Probably not. Send it. Will YouTube like this? Probably not. Send it. Will YouTube like this? No! YouTube doesn't like anything you do, Mark. Just fuck off and die already. No, YouTube, I won't! Have I ever climbed Mount Everest? I did not climb Mount Everest, but I did go to Nepal where Everest is and I'd seen it from far away and did make, make my way up Annapurna Base Camp. So it was a pretty high climb and it was a couple weeks long trek and it was a great time. Nepal is fun if you have good knees and good legs and good heart and good ability to hike for 10 or 12 hours a day. <laughs> if I could get a thousand subscribers on YouTube, I'll consider that the Mount Everest. Uh, what is my n marathon time? I ran marathons, half marathons in high school without training in uh, one hour and 54 minutes. So I ran half marathons with no training in just under two hours. And I would run nonstop the whole time. And the last time I did a 10K was filling in for my mom who had an injury and couldn't do it. And I filled in last minute. This is like... Uh, Five years ago, I jumped in to do the 10K run and I did that in 42 minutes. And I hustled the whole way through, running the whole time. <laughs> Everybody thought I worked there. 
And I did the Tough Mudder races as well. I think that's a 12 mile run where you do obstacle courses. And I did that in a, I did that in a gold thong and body paint. Everybody thought I worked there because I had a hip sack playing music and they thought I was part of the course entertainment. They didn't know I was just a crazy person <laughs> who was entertaining myself. <laughs> so Casey Nyset's airplane. I, what, it says something about him on airplanes. He rides first class and fancy airplanes. I, I hate flying. I can't stand being on an airplane. There's nothing about an airplane that I like. Not a single thing. From the day of the flight to the to the next day, it's like usually the worst day because traveling is not fun. The dest the, the I understand the journey is is better than the destination type of thing. Not flying. Flying is just a butt by really cruel, really cruel security guards who always treat me like garbage. And I get the worst luck going through security. I always get an anal cavity search every time. And it's it's really unpleasant. I hate flying, hate it. Last question is, where do you get your vlog music from? I get my vlog music from offline, a guy named Alex Productions. He's the best. And if I knew where else to get free music that was copyright and infringement free, I would. It's hard to find. I've even purchased Numerous times I've purchased Beats off BeatStars, which I do not recommend. BeatStars screws you over. I pay money to lease their songs and then I go to the studio and make rap songs with the beat I purchased. And then I go and make music videos and spend all this time and money making songs, making rap songs, making music, making music, and I make all this stuff and I go to post online and I get hit with copyright problems, copyright problems. Even though I purchased the beat legally and then invested my own money and time into studios and making videos and all this effort and months, months later, find it was useless. So, no, finding music online is tough. Alex Productions offers some nice variety of tunes and Beat Stars is where I used to go to buy rap beats, but I'll, I'll never do that again. All right, that's it for now. Drone shot out and then whoa! Peace. See you tomorrow.